Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So every day I've selected a composer that's had a role to play in both or maybe just one of these two organizations. And today it's the American composer Catherine K. Davis, born in 1892, died in 1980. She was uh, an American composer. She was a pianist, a teacher, an organist. She's one of those people that you will know some of her music, but you might not know her name. And that's really a shame because she was an amazingly prolific composer. She wrote over 600 choral pieces. One of the things she did that was important in choral music, she helped edit a book, a series of books called the Concord series. And it was all kinds of important masterpieces of choral music from the past and the present. She was originally a Congregationalist, later became an Episcopalian, born in Missouri, went to Wellesley College, and later studied with Nadia Boulanger in Paris. She wrote, uh, as I mentioned, more than 600 pieces of music. And I chose her, partly because it being Thanksgiving week, that she did an arrangement of a Welsh melody which is sung in churches, in schools, in colleges, all over the USA. And it's a charming, just two verses. The second verse, she brings a wonderful soprano descant. So I'm just gonna play this to get us in a Thanksgiving mood. the second verse, which brings the descant. I mentioned that Catherine Davies had written a lot of choral music, a lot of short little pieces, a very sweet little one that she did called Alleluia, Come Good People. Now give ear, tidings wondrous, all today shall hear. idea. Wonderful writing, very fun for choirs to sing. She wrote another little one called The Birds, The Birds Know Well.
very traditional harmonies, but beautifully put together. And the end of this little bird's Noel coming around and they sing the last verse together. Many people have set in the bleak midwinter. She did also. Hers is very different than the familiar Holst setting. Here is just a little bit of her setting using, of course, the same Christina Rossetti poem. Nicely worked harmonies, beautiful writing for the voices, and of course unfortunate that she is not as well known today as she was, but there's a lot of music there that I hope people will discover. So the reason she is famous still is a Christmas piece she wrote. She wrote this piece, well it was in 1941, and it became famous because of two things. It was taken up by the Trap family singers. And then it was also the Harry Simeon Chorale who sang this piece. And because of those two things, everyone has known this piece. Sometimes in our supermarkets and malls, we hear it too often. But if you can think back to when she wrote this in 1941, it was a very unique kind of thing. In a way, it has a kind of backdrop that sounds a little bit like what Ravel did with Bolero when he did. So you know what's coming. I'm just gonna play a little bit of her original version of Carol of the Drum. Then we have the second verse and the third, and as it gets to the third, it gets bigger, and that's when that sort of Ravel. And then finally at the end, it just fades away. Have a wonderful day.